In this video, I want to show you how to vertically align text inside a, a container uh, using Flexbox. It's actually quite simple. So the first thing I want to do in my HTML tab here is just create a simple box, which will house our H1 tag. Cool. Inside our CSS, we can go ahead and select that box. Give it a background color. Let's give it light blue. Change that. I'll leave the color the same. So what I need to do is make this uh, width and height fixed, just for this example here. Perfect. And so what we want to do ideally is have this text centered right over here. So what we need to do first is now use display flex, which will in effect make our, make our H1 tag a flex box item. We also want to change the flex direction instead of the default being row to column instead. This will go down this way. I also want to go ahead and make sure to center this text as well. And so what we want to do is have it appear right over here exactly in the center. So because we have flex direction column, we can use justify, oops, justify content and just set this to center. And there we go. So if I change this height here to let's say 750, that'll be centered. If I change to 250, it'll be centered as well. But I'm sure you think to yourself, what if you want to do use a background image? So you can do this with a background image uh, in your CSS, or you can actually include an image directly in here. So we're going to use placeholder for this example. I'm going to copy this tag here just to get us going. And one key thing difference here is that instead of having this title floating inside this box here, can't really do that because this is now a flex box item. And in order to center it, we're going to need to include this inside its own container. So what we're going to do in here is just create our div class. We'll give this one title. And I'm going to move this title inside of here. So this is important. So to, in order for this title to appear over this image, which, which we'll, we're going to change to 500 and 500, we will need to position that absolute. So we need to make that box position relative. Now let's go ahead and target that title and make that position absolute. Now this is important. So top is going to be zero, left is going to be zero, width is going to be 100%, and height is also going to be 100%. So all we need to do now is move all this, this, this Flexbox properties, if you will, down to the title container. And we have the exact same effect here. So because we have this as a fixed height, I'm going to go ahead and remove that here. We're going to let that image uh, dictate the height of the container itself. So instead of width here being 500 pixels fixed here, I'm going to make do max width. So when I change, when I resize this, it's going to resize with me. So let's see here. Max width is good. Oh, I know. So what we need to make sure is that we have this property in place as well. So that way the image will resize according to the container that it's in. And that'll be good to go. So now if I resize this viewport, you'll see that image will resize and that text will stay in the center exactly. And lastly, you may have noticed this uh, blue bar here at the bottom. This is being caused because that image needs to be um, made into a display block. So if you can't see this blue here, I'm going to go ahead and change that to just a solid blue color so that you can see it clear. There it is right over here. So to get rid of this, and the reason why this image isn't taking up the full height here is because we need to target that image. And we need to do display block. And what that'll do is, in effect, get rid of that extra space down below.